sir, I'm going to do this as respectful as I can. And I'm going to do it without some theatrical-ass music playing in the background. What I meant to convey is to show a woman who makes her man better, to give these knuckleheads something to look up to. You know, if this woman had kept a black man for all this time, and da 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 da, I can do it by being a good woman. To give an example for these girls is what we need. But to tell them how bad they fucking up is the excuse for others to follow in the fuck up footsteps. You are right. And when you talk about the generation, it's our generation that spawned you kids, that fucked you off, that taught you how to sell crack, that taught you how to do nothing, that taught you how to bail out, and taught you how to leave. But what do you think I had to see? I had to endure some shit exactly like you do. And I take full responsibility for my generation. Because I know they fucked up. They became addicted, strung out, beat down, broken. 1969, baby. And it was that the, the lost, the, the generation X are lost. I understand your point of view. But you will always be smarter than me. Because that's what we set forth. We set forth for our kids to be smarter than us. I am but a springboard for the knowledge in which you have. Even though we have fucked up, we have fucked up enough for you to see this is not how you want to be. And that is not the way you should have learned. But unfortunately, my friend, that is the way we were bred think I'm lying. Snatched. For the first time, somebody just recently told me I am an African. And I have the right to call myself an African. But I had always felt that I don't have the right to call myself African because no African ever, ever, ever called me an African. And then someone did. And then I look at the comments that I made to give them a face. And somebody says at the bottom, good job, nigger. And everything I do is to better the people that I spawned for my generation. I may have failed a million different ways, a thousand times, and I always speak in a circle because of a limited vocabulary. Survival was more important than education. Some say America has never been a third world country, but you didn't come from the part of the country that I did. But say, hey, my generation made it a little better for you because the ones before me made it a little better before me, but not much. And through all that, a black woman has struggled. The maid, the housekeeper. I can tell you stories about my grandmother being one of the first black women to work in the bank. Do you know what they did to the women? at the end of the night who worked in the bank. Especially the black ones. So, um, you know, life has been hard on me. And my travels are just to make yours easier. And what I was trying to say is that you have the power to influence. You have had the power long before I have. And I am learning from you. I am an old dog learning new tricks from you, Sergeant. So when you see me glorify you on a video, uplift you behind any, beyond anything, nobody ever uplift me, I gave you all the praise in the world because of the power that you have. But just like I thought you would, and just like you thought I would, See, when there's a circle and one person tries to make a point, it's not the person with the knowledge that makes the point. It's the person that can use the knowledge to get the point across. 
And if you watch the whole video, I give you all that power because I know you have it. But for you to come back and sound a little upset with me, that makes me feel bad. Because I never ever set out to disrespect somebody who I need to stand next to, who I need to not springboard myself to get something. See, in the end, there's only going to be so many. And like I say in all my videos, the more people with a voice that stand next to me, the louder the one voice can be heard. So, whether you like it or not, rather I thought I was over the top or not with that music, Rather, I got my point across for one second, for one nanosecond, you thought about the words that someone else had. And regardless, or rather, I was wrong or right, that's up to you, my family, to tell me whether I'm wrong or right. Because that is your, your business. That's what I expect of you. But all I said, and all I meant to say in that thing, in that piece, in that spot, there's safety in numbers. There's power in voices. There's more power in action. And when you show yourself, your power will double, quadruple. Because someone is looking at a person, not an image. I feel you on 99.9% .9 of the things you're saying. But I look from every perspective, from every angle, because I've had that time to see wrong and right. You are smarter than me. You know some things that I may not ever learn. But I know some things that are never ever be taught again. I have heard of things that, you know, don't exist anymore. So, me telling you and you telling me the same story, I'm following the same things that you've already said. I'm new at this. I've watched more than one Willie P video. If I didn't watch your videos enough to know who Willie Pete was, I wouldn't have commented on it. And I wouldn't have told everybody to watch your videos. Because rather you're wrong or right, you need the people to watch you to be able to tell you that. And that's all I ask of you. Because if you can tell me I'm wrong or right, shouldn't it be able to be a two-way conversation? Shouldn't the door swing both ways? That's what I'm trying to teach white people. I shouldn't have to teach that to black people either. The point of this is, it's not where you are who you are or where you come from. It's what you're going to do, where you're at, who you're going to take with you when you need to leave. And if something goes down, who's going to be there? I'll be there for you. I don't care if you're going to be there for me or not. I'm that kind of guy. And if anybody who watches my channel and watches your channel see this and take this in the wrong manner, you just look at some of the comments I get for saying something positive. We need to fight that shit instead of each other. Fight the fact that somebody can call you out your name by listening to one of your statements. Willie Pete says, you know, be nice to your woman. That stupid nigger, what is he talking about? That's what I'm trying to get rid of. And you got the power to help do that. But, you know, you too busy thinking about mediocre things you need to unite people because we're running out of time we know these women are stupid and this man's stupid too and we know generations before our generations fucked that up but we also know one thing and we can't forget this in this whole struggle and all this bullshit no matter what goes down what's been said about what what's this and what's that we're all tubed and you just got tubed again Take it the wrong way. Tubing is good.